party peoples of the interwebs, it's Sunday, so I'm mentally getting prepared for the Sunday night Viva and Barnes law extravaganza. Back behind the Iron Curtain in Canada, and I've been told that I've been a little too critical, a little too negative, pessimistic about the state of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So today I've decided to clear my mind. I'm going to go bike around Montreal to my favorite locations and highlight Montreal in all its beauty. And I figured I would start today at the St. Joseph's Oratory, which is under construction. It's open, but it's under construction. I'm gonna drive through here, go to the West Mount Summit, go to Mount Royal, go downtown and highlight the beautiful aspects of Montreal. So it won't just be me complaining and criticizing all day long. Hold on, let me just get rolling here. Oh yeah, it'll be me showing off what Montreal does have to offer. St. Joseph's Oratory, beautiful under construction. And unfortunately, the uh, construction has left it inaccessible to the man in the wheelchair. So don't know how he's gonna get around. Maybe head up the road and go straight to the back, but uh, that's it. Yeah. We're at the top of basically Upper West Mount now, right behind me. Gonna go to the lookout at Upper West Mount, the summit lookout, see the other side of downtown Montreal. And uh, that's the view, beautiful. This is Upper West Mount now. When I was growing up as a kid, not that anybody cares, this pedestrian path used to be a street. It used to be the dead end street that hit the upper half of the oratory and that was the street behind it oh boy now it's a pedestrian path all right this is surrey gardens maybe i'll flash a map in here but this is basically the top of upper west mount a very opulent neighborhood and beautiful homes if you're into that surrey gardens what we were looking at behind us with the oratory was looking over the northwest part of the city. Now we're gonna go look over the southeast part of the city. Potholes, potholes everywhere. My tripod is cracked. I don't know if you can see that right there. Apparently the potholes were too potty and too holy uh, to not break, so, all right. And uh, construction again, awesome. Now we're approaching the Summit Lookout. This is the lookout at the top of Westmount. Basically one of the three or four best lookouts in the city. You got the Summit Lookout, the Mount Royal Lookout at the Chalet. Then you got the other sort of Chameleon Hood Lookout over the east side of the city. But this one is known, put that there, for being the best lookout of the city. Look at this. Okay. All right, so that's the Champlain Bridge right there. Behind it, that little pimple in the distance is Mont Saint Grégoire, Nuns Island, downtown Montreal over there, that big mountain in the distance, that's Mont Saint Hilaire, I believe. And uh, the traffic right there, let's, let's zoom in on that. Summit Woods. This is where people come to walk their dog. And when we were kids, there were a lot fewer rules here. I love this. No fires. I don't even know what that is. No cans, no bikes, no bottles, no picking flowers, no pitching tents, no driving through. What is this? Any person who fails to control a dog on his or her care or who fails to pick up feces from the same animal is liable for a fine... <laughs> from the same animal. All right, so at least we know we're not liable for picking up the poop of other people's dogs. Oh, now we're gonna go down the road from Upper West Mount, windy trail, head up to Mount Royal, see the other lookout, which is beautiful. Time lapse, now. All right, awesome. Yeah, this is uh, broken now, that's great, cracked. 
The roads are so freaking, freaking pothole. Look, look at this, and this is, I'll just go down with my hand. Look at this. Okay, so tripod's broken. Potholes, potholes, potholes. I and mean, it's a good thing I got front suspension at least. Pothole. Look at this. Yep, beautiful. Oh God, oh, this, oh God. Another beautiful bike path. Not that anybody cares, but when I was growing up, this was a road. Now it's been reduced to one lane over there and converted into a bike path. When I was a kid, the bike path used to be there and this used to be a road and it used to go all the way up there. Now it's been turned into a bike path. Okay, that used to be the road, joined up here, took you to Beaver Lake. And now, as you can see behind me, that entire road has been turned into a pedestrian path and grass. Blocked off here, I guess they're gonna grow some grass over it. Reduced the crossing Mount Royal Road to one road there. And here we're at Beaver Lake, which is the other most beautiful place in Montreal. Yeah, check this out. Oh, we got a nice little dog right there. All right, some goldfish, ducks. I'm gonna go bike up that mountain right there and then head to the chalet lookout. There's a beautiful park over there for kids and ducks and goldfish. They both look delicious. This is the Mount Royal Lookout, the chalet behind me, and the best lookout of the city right here. All right, there are far too many people here. It's Sunday, but uh, too many people, we out. Chemin Hood. Uh, apparently, as you can see behind me, there's a checkpoint. Uh, apparently now this road is closed off to traffic every Sunday until 12.30. So the bikers get to use it. This road, Chemin Hood, basically straddles Mount Royal and goes from the West Mount side to the uh, Plateau side, Saint Laurent area. Goes right over the mountain. It's, it's pretty beautiful. We're going to get to the... Uh, the other major lookout that gets a look out of the Olympic Stadium, Quebec's shame turned pride. <laughs> All right, and yeah, my tripod is uh, gone. So my hands have become my tripod. Don't worry, I'm not gonna record as I go down, only as I go up. There you go. This is the other beautiful look. Hello, bird. Right. This is the east side of Montreal. That's the Olympic Stadium right there. Cost like 10 times more than it should have. Took 10 years longer than it should have. I might be off on the numbers, but uh, it was too expensive, took too long, never functioned completely. And I think we finally paid it off like 20 or 30 years after the 1976 Olympics for which it was built. Jacques Cartier Bridge right there. And uh, that's the road down to the Tam Tams where we are also going to go. And uh, that's it. This is what is known as the Tam Tams. It's the park on the other side of Mount Royal. We've come down from the road where we had that lookout over the east end. That's sort of like the east end over there. And the Tam Tams is a place where on the weekend, usually I see a lot more people like slacklining behind us, or at least in memory. It might be too early, it's 12.15, so maybe the uh, Tam Tam dancers and the drummers and everybody haven't yet come out. But there's like people selling stuff and hacky sacks and clothing and in that square there which we're going to drive through and there's a lot of drummers but 12 30 maybe it's too early on a sunday for uh the drummers to be out all right 
right, for those of you who don't speak French, that inscription on the statue says, Canada must be a free country, a country of freedom. And all of its freedoms, all of the freedoms must be protected by the law. Mm -hmm. We've seen how that's panned out. Oy. Okay, let's just bike through here and uh, hit the road. Go downtown, see what's going on there. Going down Park Avenue, what I noticed, just looking ahead of me, you got a park right over here and what appears to be a tent encampment uh, right by what I think used to be the restroom area. Not exactly sure what that is. Apparently that entire thing has been turned into an encampment and back to beach volleyball. Well, we just went through the nice part of Montreal, the scenic pedestrian route over the mountain, and now we're in downtown Montreal. Construction, rampant homelessness, empty buildings. Yep. As you can tell, we are now in Chinatown. This is Saint Laurent Street and René Levesque right behind it. We're gonna drive down through Chinatown, past Lanzhou Noodles, the best noodle place in the world, and uh, go to the old port. I don't know where we're gonna go after this, but this is Chinatown and it's beautiful, but under construction. All right, that's Lanzhou Noodles right there with the lineup. And I'm pretty sure I just saw Freddy Krueger. All right, that's the south side of the gates, and that's the Montreal Courthouse right there. That big, bland, communist-looking building right there. And the building that you see right behind there is where my office used to be. Behind the construction is the world-famous Église Notre-Dame, the Notre Dame Cathedral. That is a replica of the Basilica Notre-Dame in Paris. Construction around it, construction on it, and too many people. Not sure what's going on here. For those of you who don't read French, that says street closed, rue barre, local traffic only, detour. We're going down. This is the old port uh, where you have the Ferris wheel thingy and uh, I think they had zip lining at one point. And uh, it too is uh, under construction. This takes us out of the old port. Old port's that way. I'm gonna go back through downtown this way and uh, see what it looks like. All right, here we go. Check this out. This is Victoria Square behind me, and I presume that was one of the barricades that was used to create the encampment. And here is what's left after the encampment. That is the Queen Victoria statue. Let's get a little 360 panorama of the graffiti that wasn't shown by the Gazette. Oh, this side, this side fared well, okay. This 
This is downtown Montreal, Rene Levic. My old office building used to be just around the corner. Now, hold on a second, let's get going here. Oi! Now we are going to go to Phillips Square, drive through St. Catherine, and then I'm actually going to go mountain biking. So, let's see what's going on. Uh, Tim Hortons. This is McGill, my alma mater for my undergrad in philosophy. It too is under construction. And as you can see here, this is the McGill encampment that has been in the news for the last little while. At least two injunctions failed to get it dismantled. that building right there with the pointy triangulated top my first office everything is under construction in downtown Montreal alrighty we are in nature now we're going to change up perspective and go with the GoPro view I'm gonna go easy because I don't actually have good shoes or good pedals on and this isn't my bike and I want to break it or anything but we're gonna ride now through some trails, so enjoy. Why don't you <laughs> 